Hello YouTube for another tutorial in here. I'm Wesley Mazzotti and I will be showing you today how do you sync audio with optical flares. So the first thing I wanted to do is new composition make it um, 10 seconds and I'm gonna rename it as audio sound composition or mean com okay click ok and I'm going to make new solid so take the color black and I'm gonna rename this as optical flare and make sure it's comp size now you are going to search for optical flares and you can download it or buy it um, from a video copilot and I'm gonna choose an optical flare, nice optical flare in here so maybe we go to pro presets and to uh, let's take maybe, I don't know let's make this one so it's not very good. Okay. now I want to sync the brightness on on this after uh, the optical flare with the audio so in the first thing is import the uh, the sound that you want and uh, let's see now I'm gonna put it on the background and I'm gonna right click and then go give frame assistant uh, convert audio to keyframes now put this uh, at the bottom of our flare, optical flare we, uh, layer or solid so after that we are going to delay the left channel and the right channel we don't need them uh, we need only the both channels now go alt click slider and also you can go from the effects both channels and slider now after that if we go to select the slider go to graphs editor and you will see some keyframes these keyframes are the one that may uh, change the brightness but it's not mapped so we are going to map it so I want to choose for example 4.5 uh, uh, which means the value is more than 4.5 is going to be 100 and the lower than let's say 3 it's going to be a 0 but as you can see if you go to optical flares and you will see the brightness is 100 what we want to do is go into 100 for the lower value, value and then 150 for example for the uh, let's say uh, 180 for the maximum value so it's not 0 and 100 for, for this tutorial I want to change it to for the lower than 3 is going to be um, 100 and the more than uh, 3.5 is going to be um, 180 so this will be our ex main expression so delete all the expressions in here and uh, we want to add linear and then open the brackets now we are going to type in, in value comma and then we set the lower value we said it is 3 and then comma and then we set the uh, maximum value so uh, search for the maximum value it will be maybe 4.5 maybe no. uh, I'm gonna set this to 4 okay 
and this one to 4.5 and then comma and then we set the 4 it will be 100 and then comma the 4.5 is going to be 180 I will zoom in a little bit in here okay it's not working so I'm gonna just open the uh, program here okay should be linear and um, and then um, okay linear for uh, co comma 4.5 comma 100 and then we are going to set the maximum value and then close the uh, the parentheses. Now after that we have set these uh, slider and as you can see when you go back to our uh, main editor and you'll see nothing happens that's because we didn't uh, um, parent these uh, slider and then the optical flare brightness so go to brightness and alt click and whatever uh, the brightness was I will reset it to 100 now we are going to parent the, uh, the brightness of the optical flare to our slider and then you will see an animation and that's because the layers If we run preview this, you will see that this animation is very realistic. It goes from 100 to 180. So, you can also add text if you want, even particles, or even the uh, Every everything you want. As you can see, you can set it on the bottom of the optical flare. And then go to optical flare and then set it to add. And as you can see, some uh, the optical flare is on the top of the text. Even if you mute this uh, sound music it's uh, already um, with these layers you can also even remove it so thank you for watching please like and subscribe to our channel and goodbye